Welcome to a walkthrough of the Nokia E66 calendar application. You may know it's already been redesigned um, from the product launch, so we'll just dig right in. You can see that the month view now has a convenient part on the bottom or the side um, showing all of your entries for that day. You can kind of scroll through here pretty easily and it'll tell you what you have that day down below, which is very handy so you don't have to actually click on the day to see um, what's going on and that works the same in landscape mode as well um, it'll be to the right of the monthly view for the calendar uh, the day function actually has a um, broken out by time now so that you can see what uh, you have going on on each day by time and on a nice little time uh, timeline there so when you go to do a new entry you can enter a subject um, and that can be obviously anything you want you can set the duration time um, you can also see the checkbox below where it says all day event. You can check what days. Um, so if this is a multi-day event, you can put that in here as well. Um, you can change the priority as well if you want to make it a higher priority. The location, unfortunately this does not currently integrate with Nokia Maps, but that would be really cool if it did. Uh, you can also set the alarm here and then you can say whether it's repeated or publicly synced, um, which is pretty convenient when you're entering a new item. Now, you'll also notice the inner details down at the bottom, um, but for now we're just going to set an um, alarm. You can set it for, or this is the recurring, I apologize. The, you can have it every two weeks, every week, daily, um, or just not repeated at all. The details down here at the bottom lets you enter in any notes that you have. Um, which is very very convenient specifically for meetings and such where you need to have an agenda there so that's um, basically the new uh, event creation which is very very convenient and now we've saved it and so you can see down at the bottom that it's uh, shows up there on the day view along with the time and there's a little recap you can see that it shows the time period that it takes up which is very convenient if you need to just get a glance of your day and see where you have free time you can also create a new memo uh, which just you can set how long it's uh, valid for and there's a little bit less options here.